And after I specifically told you not to tell them anything about it, I was only trying to do what you should have done long ago. Are you on the verge of breaking a tradition that goes back more than a thousand years? Ago? Your tradition, Mother, not mine. Marnie is my daughter, and if I decide not to train her like a witch, then it's none of your business. A witch's 13th Halloween is supposed to mark the completion of her training. If Marnie's training doesn't at least begin tonight, her powers will be lost forever. Yes, and she'll finally be human. She'll finally be normal, like her brother, like her father, and like Sophie will be after her. Mm. We're in a human father. Why, you're only lucky that you have two shoulders showing powers at all. Do you really want them to go through life doing things the hard way? I mean, I mean, look at you. Look at you with your plastic bowls. When you know leftover chicken keeps better when it's back on the bowl. For years, you have been coming here. You've been dropping hints to Marnie, and you've been badgering me to start her training. I know that that's why you came here tonight, Mother. But the fight is over. You know that? The clock has finally run out. And you can just go home. Quinn. As much as I think you're making a terrible mistake with Marnie, you're wrong about why I came here tonight. The fact is, I came to ask for your help. My help? With what? Well, something is wrong at home. Something's happening. Every day, I find another neighbor has changed, turned hateful, it's frightening. And soon after that, they disappear altogether. Oh, please, Mother. My neighbors disappear sometimes, too. It's called moving. Oh, Quinton, I'm quite serious about this. It's as though something or someone is trying to return us to the dark times. And I fear my powers alone may not be enough to stop it. I need another Cromwell, which I need you. Mother, there are plenty of other witches and warlocks in Halloween Town. Why don't you recruit one of them? Oh, I've tried. You know how it is today. No one wants to get involved. Mother, I'm sure that you believe that there's some kind of problem. But I can't just leave my kids to go fight some nameless force in another world that I have nothing to do with. Nothing to do with? <laughs> well, fine. Bury your head in the sand of that precious mortal world of yours. Perhaps the Cromwell line will end with you. But let's just hope that Halloween Town doesn't come to an end along with it. Enjoy your leftovers, dear. And then she talked about all this weird stuff that's happening in Halloween Town, like it's a real place. And then she turned our leftovers into a live chicken standing right there in the bowl. And that's when I knew that she is a witch, and so is Mom, and so am I, because they both said so. What do you think? It must be, um, one of those radio controlled models. She's leaving. She's going back to Halloween Town. I gotta go after her. Go after her? Are you crazy? I have to go. If she doesn't start training me as a witch tonight, I could lose my powers forever. You don't really believe all this witch stuff is true, do you? Dylan, haven't you ever wondered about the stuff that goes on in our house? No. Like why Mom won't let us talk about, watch, or read? Anything that has the word magic in it? No. Haven't you ever wondered why you pretend Halloween doesn't exist? Or why I have deja vu all the time? Or why stuff seems to fall off the shelves whenever Sophie is a tantrum? No. Well, I have. And now that I've found out the truth, I'm not going to stay here and turn all boring and human like you. What do you mean, boring like me? Tired of that yeah. musty odor in your cellar? Try the new Spore Buster Deluxe. It removes mold and fungus just like magic. No, it doesn't. The house doesn't smell like mushroom omelets anymore. Thanks, Boar Buster. Marty, wait up. What are you doing here? I'm the man of the house. I gotta keep an eye on you. Plus, I'm gonna have a hard time getting back to sleep till I find out if you're crazy or not. Then help me find her. She's gotta be around here somewhere. There she is. Get down. Where did that bus stop come from? I don't know. Can I put my shoe on now? I'm having that deja vu feeling again. You knew I was going to put on my shoe? No. This whole thing, the bus stop, Grandma. Wait. Maybe it's not deja vu at all. Maybe I'm seeing the future. Right. 
now you can see the future. Tell me, what am I gonna have for breakfast? Where'd that bus come from? I don't know, but I'm not missing it. Hi, Skinner. Hello, Aggie. stopping the bus to send us home. What? Stopping the bus where? So anyway, there I was trying to spook this fellow. He was buying nachos at the mini-mart when this smart headed child with the dreadful little monster mask runs up to me and yells, Daddy! I asked him, where is the bus? It's not like the old days. Mm -hmm. People at Jake. Mm -hmm. I race a demon from the underworld, and they say, big deal, I saw the same thing on Jerry Springer. always <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not a scam for old times, then. <laughs> it must be, um, you know, one of those chartered buses coming back from a costume party at the Moose Lodge. Okay. Oh. have time this year myself doing some volunteer work down at the headless shelter oh, poor dears care for a muffin <laughs> i baked them for the folks at the shelter didn't occur to me they couldn't eat them no heads <laughs> oh well must be off take care <laughs> 